Hi and welcome back to my workshop. I'm Tony and I'm building another tank uh, to 1 to 6 scale Armatech M26. Um, so today I want to do the drive case assembly and go on and build the sprockets. I'm not going to uh, install the sprockets, just want to get them assembled, uh, ready for painting. Um, and I've done the first of the uh, drive case, um, I've done the right hand side. Um, and nothing really, no major issues as such. There's a few little tips which I'll go over because I'm going to now uh, reset the camera and I'm going to build and assemble the drive case assembly in real time on the left hand side. So uh, without any delay, I will reset the camera and I'll be back very shortly. Okay, so we're about ready to go. Um, first thing I've done is I've elevated the tank up into a position that just makes it easier to work in this location here because concentrating on the, all the work is going to be here pretty much today um, and it's already proven it's, it's worth this little motorcycle jack so if you are building one of these and you haven't got one I'd really recommend you get one just makes um, as I said life very easy and it also allows you to manipulate the tank you know just sliding it around your bench but the, the best thing is that the height adjustment on it so um, I've got all my components all set up. I've got all my fixings as usual. Um, and they, this is really all about the sequence of how you do this. Um, and the, the instructions are quite clear, but I, you know, I'd, I'd spend a bit of time studying them and just to make sure that I wasn't going to make any mistakes. So first thing really you do is clean everything up as usual. Um, and then this inside the sort of main drive case is a little brass um, pin or whatever you'd call it, a plug. Uh, that goes on there and they just ask you to super glue that in so that's what I'm going to do <clears throat> so this is the start and I'm just going to put I don't want to get any on the inside face of this just a little bit on the bottom there and that pops in and it, you push it in as far as it can possibly go and it does sit and slightly proud as per the instructions on here so I'm going to leave that and allow that to set and then the next thing that I did on the on the other side is this sort of inner plate here or I guess the outer plate securing plate there's a little detail that goes on like that um, and I just think it's going to be awkward when it's in that position there so I'm going to use get my thread locker and all the right little fixings and get those get these installed now just makes life a little bit easier one thing I would say is that uh, actually make sure that these are slightly handed so there's a left hand and a right hand they look identical but the, the holes just make sure that you've located to make sure that the holes are in the right place um, I didn't do it but I was thinking that when I was doing the other sides actually it'd be quite and I tested it and I went yeah you know what if you're not right you wouldn't fix it in the wrong place but it just you know it just it's just frustrating so, so just double check that you've got the right and left um, accordingly uh, right, so we'll get on and we'll get this done. Um, I just think that, I th again, I'm like I, every time I come to start doing some work on the tank, I don't want to, um, yeah, I don't want to make any mistakes. So I'm spending a bit of time, you know, reading the instructions because uh, this is actually, although similar in in some ways to the tiger. Uh, here we go, talking about the tiger again. Um, it's it's different as well um, I just don't want to make mistakes so as soon as I start the build I'm always a little bit nervous but once I get into the build um, I find uh, you know I get a bit of growing confidence until the next step so I think once we've got these parts done and the sprockets built and the wheels built um, then I'm going to be doing painting I was talking to a couple of the the guys on on my channel um who are building this and and there it's all i think we're all in the same boat is what to paint when to paint um and trying to get you know reasonable weather uh, so we can get the best paint to take it outside um you know so you can get you know full 360 degree access around it and and i think that we're all pretty much thinking the same thing odd isn't it that you just think because uh, you don't want to go too far and put too much on the tank and then find you can't get you can't hit, you know hit it with the paint so I think that's you know, understandable but all these things that I'm putting on here are all things I think that we can get away with by 
assembling onto the tank or you know fitting to the tank and then uh, painting uh, it doesn't affect the painting so hence the reason I'm not gonna I'll build a sprocket but I will not install it today so just the usual thread locker again you know, I'm not saying this is the way to do this this is the way I this is the way I've worked out I do it just flat on the bench nice and easy rather than you know trying to work on these little fixings these 2.5 m 2.5 quite small little cap fixings that go into this I mean there's no reason there's no reason why you can't do what I'm doing here in this sequence so that's that done so I'll put that to one side so now this main drive case simply just fixes on here but there is there is a bush that goes through the back of that and it sits i'll show you if it's you position that flush and this thing it's, it's got a recess for it and it needs to be in there flush at the back and there's a i mean you can literally just just about leave it hanging there so it, it's quite important so what i what i did on the other side is because I was working out, I was trying to work out what, what's the you know, best sequence for this. So I fixed this first and then I offered this up into position um, and found that that was the sort of probably the be best way to do it. I mean, you can do it either way. So um, I just think that you, know, you need to make sure that, that doesn't, this doesn't push this off the face of that. So this is the most important part and we'll, we'll, we'll offer that in afterwards. So these get secured with four M4 countersink fixings and they come through the inside of this and attach to the tank so I should pop that back on there for now so again old thread locker and I'm just going to push the first one in make sure I've got the right tool and I do and that one is going to go in that hole there now I don't tighten these off yet just I'm just going to put them on fairly loosely because I want to you want to keep this fairly loose for now until I offer the uh, the bush in behind it hope this side goes as well as the other side but you know now the camera's on it will probably probably be a disaster but um yeah so far so good so there's just four of these to go in as i said i'm not i'm not tightening these up too much just want to get them Reasonably tight. I think I'm using more thread locker on this than I did the um, the other tank. <laughs> uh, my tiger. I don't, I don't know actually because the wheels for the tiger it just seem to take forever. I'm hoping these wheels won't take as long. So that's in there reasonably. I'm not tightening that off just yet. And while I'm just here, this this little brass um, bush or whatever here. Um, they do ask you to grease that in case the gear gets in contact with it so um, mustn't forget to do that so this bush here then offers in from behind and I, there we go and that's in there now nice and tight and um, so that's that's exactly where it should be so I'm going to now just tighten that off so that this doesn't really move so now it's always a bit nervous when you start lock tightening these things in so this so this is on the you 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 apply the um the glue to the outside of the ring and then just and use the nozzle to just spread that around and i'm putting some on the leading edge because that's where it goes into the drive case With a bit of luck and a prevailing wind and it's in nice and flush it's in exactly where it should be so that's that 
So again, this is just how I'm doing it. I'm not saying this is the right way to do it. So I'm just going to tighten all these up now. These really need to be in tight because can you imagine the amount of vibration that it's going to go through? Just hold, here we go. That's it. That's it. Nice and tight. So that's that part done. Now we're going to go on and install the bearings and uh, the front cover for the drive case and unwrap the gear. So we'll just, this is the, the two main gears that Armatex sends you and they always wrap them in brown paper. Um, and you can see that they've actually machined, taken off this sort of this nip, nipple, if you like, on here. Um, they ground it off. I had to do that myself on the the Tiger, but this is lovely and just feel the quality of that steel. Again, beautifully engineered. Just you know, just love looking at these things and holding them and, and building with these things. There's some weight in that as well. Um, so all I'm gonna do with that is I'm just gonna clean this off. That's that. I've already cleaned all of these uh, components up. And so I'll do, I'll just show you briefly that, that you get one you get one of these bearings, the larger of the, the bearings in the pack that it comes with, that goes in first and that slips down, that should do, excuse me, that slips, that goes down to the bottom. And I've tested this already, so um, it, I knew it was gonna fit. So that goes down to the bottom. Then you have this internal bush and it's not, I don't think there's a wrong way or a right way for it to go in. That goes in like that. And then you have this plate that we then fix to the back of that. And then the final, the final bearing goes in into this position here. And that is it. And then you then you bolt the entire assembly with the gear in place onto the tank itself. So I'm going to take all of those out. That's that. So <clears throat> with this, we have to apply super glue to the outside of this bearing. I'm not gonna do it to the bearing, I'm gonna actually put it inside here, but being careful not to affect the bearing. So just on the inner edge, as far as I can get and using the nozzle, just to spread that around. That's that. I've got my makeshift tool, broom handle. I'm just going to use that to push that into position. The reason why I use a broom handle, because of the rounded end, it doesn't damage, you can see that, it doesn't damage the bearing. It's not, you're not hitting this part here. You're only hitting the stainless steel part here, or the steel piece here. So that bearing's in there nice and tight, and we'll just check that, and, and it is. Now this is, I think this is one of the most important parts because um, if this is not sitting properly, sorry about the noise, if this is not sitting properly, it's going to affect the position of the gear when it, when you position, when, when the gear goes in. Sorry. So then the next thing is this bush. They don't ask you to super glue that in. You just leave that as it is. And then the final bearing, but I'm going to put the plate on first and then put the bearing in so I can make sure that uh, I'll just, I'm just going to test fit that though. I think. Yeah, and that might need a bit of cleaning up actually. Just, just sometimes just needs a gentle bit of a helping hand. So that bearing will go in there. This will go on the here, and I'll, re yeah, I'll, I'll show you this in a minute. But we'll we'll put this assembly together. So these are 12 mil M4 fixings that go into this. And I'm just going to lay that on the bench for a minute. Let me 
old thread locker again. I think this is really important to get this in there tight, but we'll just wind them in for now. Trying to do this so the camera picks up so you can see it. So I'm quite happy with the progress so far in the tank. Um, as I said in my other videos, I'm not I'm not in a race for this. I'm I'm really happy with the progress I'm making, slow, methodical progress. Um, I mean, the weather is looking like it's it's improving here in the UK, which is great news, but also uh, means that I'm going to find it harder to make excuses to come in here and build a tank. So I'm taking advantage of it while I can. And that's just get those in nice and tight. Nice and tight, lovely. So now we've just got the bearing to go in here and that bearing will sit inside this. So I'm just gonna get some, just gonna make sure that that's clean around the edge. Okay, this it is. Super glue. Um, going to apply it to the inside face of this. Just trying to use the nozzle just to smooth that round. And that's got that. Now, these come in a bag, they're really clean. Sometimes if they're not, if you, if you just put these in your toolbox and, and they're not protected, you, you should always just put a bit of air on them to, to make sure that they fit. Now, this is where the whole thing starts going horribly wrong, I think, and we'll try. So I wanna try and get that I'm using the rubber end of the mallet, only hitting it on the metal. Sorry about the noise. It's really important that that sits in the right place. Now, what I found on the other side, it just sits slightly proud. I mean, it's, it's got to be microns um, rather than millimeters. And I think the purpose of that is that when the gear goes in, it doesn't bind with the back of this plate, which it seems to be perfect on the other side. I'm really happy the way that went. And this is about where I think it should be. Um, just will. Great little hammer that, perfectly weighted for this kind of work. You don't want anything bigger than that because it will damage it. So that's it, effectively all constructed, bolted together. And the only thing now this is the moment of truth. We'll just see if this passes through. So that's it. Let's just go in and there we go. Lovely. That's now spinning beautifully. Um, and you can see there's a tiny, tiny, tiny gap at the back of that. And I think that's right. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure that's right. And it's the same as the other side, so that went very well. Now, the only thing before this now goes into position on here, but before we do that, we're just going to... I've got a bit of copper slip here, and I'll take it off the lid. And they do ask you to put something like this, or, or equivalent, onto this brass piece here, just in case the gear binds with it. Um, it doesn't seem to, but, um, you know, you never know. So what I'm going to do is we'll start off putting this in and then my son will probably speed up because there's 15 of these to, uh, to, to go in. You, you don't want to listen to me, you know, droning on while I'm doing it. So we'll pop, I'm going to pop the first one in. first 
um, and then I'm going to just do the opposite diagonally, diagonally opposite we go that one that's it I can feel I can yeah it's all done by feel really most of the time I'm just going to wind these in a bit and I'm just going to as I wind them in I'm just going to make sure that the um, the drive is, the gear is spinning as it should do so I'm not going to tighten this up hugely at the moment I'm just going to do very very hand tight and if you like light touch on the hand tight don't overdo it because I think if you try to do it and you went round, you know, like that, I think it's going to push over and you may, you may, I don't know, may, may bind. It's just, it's the way I like to do things. So that, yeah. Right, so I'm just going to carry on now. Ben will probably sort of, my son Ben will speed all this up because um, trust me, you won't want to listen to me talking about this as I'm doing it. So that's the drive case assembly done on both sides, left and right. Uh, really pleased how they went. Um, and uh, we're going to move on now to the assembly of the sprocket. But before I do that, I just wanted to clarify something. In my last video, when we were constructing these idler arms, um, I mistakenly put thread locker on this thread here and on this nut here. Um, and then when I read through uh, further down through the instructions that I realized that this, this here, this crank is actually used to tension um, and, and adjust the tension of the track and they give you this you know, nicely machined tool um, to allow you to tension the, the and, and release the track um, so obviously if I'd have thread locked that that would have you know because to do this you need to unwind this to loosen it up and then you turn it um, so uh, after I read through the instructions I realized I've made a mistake but it's okay because what I did is I just wound this back off cleaned up the thread and just put it all back on so no harm done I just wanted to clarify that and it's a great example of like what I've said and, and I should listen to my own self um, you know be careful don't go ahead too far um, and it was only when I sort of started really understanding a bit more about how this operated I realized I've made that mistake um, I mean they don't tell you to use thread locker or not um, I just assumed it would be a key part so anyway no harm done all done cleaned up and I did put a message on my video uh, to say um, you know taking a notice of what i was saying so hopefully you've picked it up so anyway we're on to the sprocket now um so you get each sprocket is the main hub which is quite beautifully machined again from armatech um there's a little bit of cleaning up to do on 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 the sort of the hub there. i'm not sure if that comes out in the camera let me try and get that there i'm sure but it's just in here i can just see there's a bit of machining clean that cleans up um you get the hub caps with this you know beautifully machined sort of central fixing um, and you've got the teeth themselves the sprocket teeth um, so actually compared to the uh, tiger it's quite an easy assembly um, just a, just a lot of fixings as normal um, and what I've done is I've basically got everything I'm going to want to build the sprocket um, but without fixing it onto the tank so I'm not putting the taper lock on I'm not fixing it because I want to just assemble everything get it all cleaned assembled um, and then paint it and then once it's been painted um, and when I'm painting, I'll paint the hubcaps at the same time. I'll then install it with, you know, on, using the taper lock onto the main drive. So what we'll do now is I'm just going to start cleaning up uh, this. The first one, I've, I've, I've already cleaned up the machining. But as always, while you've got the components off the tank, um, give it a good clean. Now, there is a front and a back to these hubs, and I'll, I'll, I'll explain that in a moment. And um, again, it's just like, you know, you just have to, I found myself reading the instructions twice over. Um, I pretty much know the manual off by heart now. Um, and I think it's important that we do that because otherwise, you know, you make mistakes. Not, it's not a disaster, but you still make mistakes like I did with the idler arms and the, and the thread locker. So just cleaning up this now. And just because I know that when I get to the painting stage, it's going to need to be cleaned 
it's just getting the residue off of this um, and I'll go on and I'll do a bit more cleaning in a moment because uh, you know what this is just you're going to find this incredibly boring so that's i'll clean the i'll continue cleaning these up in a moment um the only thing to bear in mind is that when you assemble these sprockets these teeth themselves um they recommend that you chamfer the teeth both sides it's just so it binds at the track better uh i mean i i, I did exactly the same on on the tiger although I know some builders leave them because um, they, they kind of allow them to mesh and, and grind themselves. But anyway, I will be doing that. I'll be chamfering off these edges as part of the construction of these um, uh, sprockets. So really, there's, um, I'll, I'll speed all of this up because you'll probably find it tedious. Um, and um, I'll um, obviously come back to camera uh, shortly. But I guess I just want to make sure that I've got all the tools that I'm going to need. So I've got a little, before I speed it up, I'll just the little sort of round file so i'm going to need we'll do that actually now i don't know if you can see but there's a and it's not the threaded end but it's the other end and i just need to just clean that edge up because with the taper lock there's a there's a screw that that comes through there and just i'm not i'm not touching the thread i'm just cleaning up the end part of it and that's I mean, if you, I don't know if you can see, but there's, now, there's that sort of overrun there. So I'm just going to clean that up. Again, being careful not to hit the thread. And um, hopefully you can see that. Difficult to do this. I'm mirroring it, if you like, uh, about there. Anyway, that's that and that. Um, and uh, I've got my my socket a tool to because uh, we're going to need there's a lot of uh, m 2.5 uh, nuts so that's all ready to go i've got my opposing alum screwdriver and i think we're good to go so i'll speed this up from here on So just before we carry on, I just wanted to bring to your attention something of note. So these sprocket teeth go over this. They fit reasonably well, but when you look at them through here, I can see there's a gap. And and I think it's because there's a slight, just an ever so slight change. It's not 100%. So, and because this is a, a sharp corner, all I'm doing now is I'm just gonna just use this deburring tool just to take that sharp corner off. now that fits on there perfectly it's so tight um i i, I just I, lessons learned from building the tiger but you have to pull this two teeth or this teeth ring onto the sprocket you do need to make sure that's really tight otherwise it just sits off of it so i'm going to do that i'll carry on and uh, we'll speed all this up again
Well, that's it for today. Um, basically, we've done the, the two drive cases, assemblies, and I've gone ahead and built one of these um, you know, sprockets. Um, I've still got to do the other one, but I'll do that in a moment. Um, I just thought, well, there's no point repeating that because if you've seen that all sped up and you can see the principles of how that's made. Very simple, you know, basically three components, the main hub and the two, two, the two if you like, sprocket teeth. Um, I mean, one thing I, I, I absolutely love is this reference book. I've got an amazing reference book and it is so close to what Armatech have, have done and achieved. I'm not sure that's going to come out, but, you know, if you look at the, the hub, for instance, there it is. You know, it's just incredibly accurate for for this kind of model. Um, and in this in this reference book, it's quite clear that in this particular uh, is this particular sprocket design. Sorry, here there was two types. Armatech have chosen the, the, to go elected for this one. Um, that th these nuts, um, you've got the threaded little you know button fixings that have come through here, but these are overrun. So I'm gonna I'm. 90% sure I'm going to do this. I might change my mind, but I'm going to use my Dremel to, to take off these. I don't know if you can see that in the camera, but they're all, you know, a huge sort of, uh, they just feel wrong, you know, they just don't feel right. So I'm going to trim all these off, get them flush, and then I think that's probably more accurate to what's in the reference book. Um, so that's it. I'll go on and finish this. Um, and then next week, or the next session, I should say, uh, we'll be doing the wheels. Um, there's a lot of them. Um, and uh, once I've done all the wheels, I'll probably build two in real time. The rest I'll just speed up. Um, but once I've built the wheels, then I'm going to start painting. And I'm really looking forward to doing that um, because it will start transforming the uh, you know, the tank. Um, so thanks again for joining me. And if you continue to follow me, I really do appreciate it. I love all your comments. love all the thumbs up. Um, and if you're new to my channel, please subscribe. And um, if you like this, thumbs up. I'm Tony. I'm building another tank. And I'll see you soon.